Right behind me is the Seward Highway. Now this is a stretch of road that goes from Anchorage all the way down to Seward. And it's named after William H. Seward, the guy who bought Alaska from Russia. On this little stretch of road, you can do all the great things there is to do in Alaska. You can hike, you can bike, you can go see glaciers, and you can do some of the best salmon fishing in the entire world. Not to mention the fact that you can get great pictures of some of the most beautiful scenery ever and witness one of the most ginormous tides in the entire world. So one of the first stops that you come to on your way out of Anchorage is Potter's Marsh. Now this is a little jewel that a lot of people just speed right by, but I tell you what, you are definitely going to want to stop. They have a great boardwalk on there, so it's easy for mom, dad, grandma, the kids, everybody can go on out there. One of the greatest things about taking this trip from Anchorage to Seward is the wildlife. There's just an abundance of wildlife on this highway. You got doll sheep up there in the mountains. You might even spy a bear or two crossing the road. We got tons of moose in the Anchorage area, about 2,000. So you're bound to see a moose. Did you see this? There's a bug right there. See it? That's the state bird right there. One of the places you probably want to stop along your way is going to be McHugh Creek. McHugh Creek has a great big parking lot. The kids will love hanging out there. It's a beautiful, picturesque spot. Awesome waterfall just coming down. And if you like hiking, you definitely want to try the hike. It goes all the way up the mountain. In late July or early August, a definite must stop on the Seward Highway is Beluga Point. Named so because right along Turnigan Arm here, you can see the beluga whale migration. And it is just an incredible sight to see. You can also just come out here to get great, beautiful, scenic shots of Turnigan Arm. I mean, nothing, nothing in the world is going to prepare you for what this looks like in real life.